Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. Let me see if I can get the milk cam going on a little bit better. You know what this is all about. This is some Oreo sampling going on right now. I'm sitting here watching WrestleMania 6. I got the Rockers versus the Orient Express going on. I should be paying more attention to this match. Love both of these tag teams. But uh, Red Velvet Oreos, these have been sitting here on my desk for maybe almost a week now. Uh, I saw these on Facebook that these were coming out, and then my good buddy Pinko went over uh, to, to his, uh, I can't remember where he got it. I saw his picture of getting these, and I headed right out over uh, to Target, and I picked those up. I just haven't had a chance to make the video until today. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm big time jazzed about getting these. As you can see, honestly, that the um, package of Oreos is a lot smaller than a normal uh, package of Oreos. These I've had for about a week. These have been sitting here on my desk for about maybe even three months. My wife bought these pumpkin spice Oreos for me. I wasn't that thrilled about trying them, and I forgot about them. They're still sitting there. Maybe it's still pumpkin time. I don't know. But these are uh, a cream cheese flavored cream on the Oreos. Uh, these guys got the the, uh, the red velvet cake. I am a huge fan of red velvet cake around the holiday time. I know that red velvet has gotten... Uh, Popular and popular around the season, uh, around the year where a lot of people like these. Uh, I just like eating it at, at Christmas time. That's when I think about it. You know, October and November, it's all about the pumpkin pie. December, I move into red velvet Oreos. I don't know, red velvet Oreos, red velvet cake. And uh, that's what I pick up and like to have around the house for dessert. So I'm big time jazz for these. I got my milk, I got my Oreo, and uh, we'll get down to business. Um, as you know, if you're a fan of these, make sure you head on out and pick these up as soon as you can. Limited edition, who knows how long they're going to be around. Picked up the first one and it didn't stick all that well, so I don't know if it's because it's a different kind of cream they're using there or whatever. It looks like a normal Oreo. It's got a little bit more of a brown tint uh, than that blackish chocolate tint uh, that your Oreos would normally have. Maybe that's a little bit red. Maybe it's like adding a little bit of red coloring to the normal Oreo color, but uh, you can't go wrong. That's a good Oreo. That's a good flavor. I mean, that's honestly like going to Costco and picking up one of the red velvet cakes. One of my favorite spots to get that is to check that out. But these cookies, I'm really hoping, are made for dunking. Um... A lot of the special Oreos, a lot of the big complaints I have them is once you dunk them into milk, they don't taste like anything. Uh, candy corn, fruit punch um, are the ones that come to my mind uh, that from the past. But let's give this a whirl. We're going to get this into the, the milk. Got to get it in there. Got to get a little bit soft. Cookie broke. Ah, oh, man, maybe I got some complaints about these not being able to hold up. But we'll check this out. Holds up, tastes just like it did when I um, took the bite without it. But um, these are some damn good cookies. I have to give these four to five stars on the Oreo uh, skills. I mean, uh, I can't even remember the last time I ate a regular Oreo. I think it's just like I buy one of these uh, boxes almost every month of a different specialty flavor to make the video here on YouTube for you guys and check it out. But... That's great. And that's really good. Red Velvet Oreos. Make sure you head on over to Target. Uh, check those out. Maybe they're at Walmart. Maybe they're at your local grocer. Um, you can check that out. But peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Enjoy your Oreos. And I'll see you guys down the road.